One of the consequences of the Mongol Empire was the emergence of new peoples and dynasties in its wake, such as the Kazakhs, whose origin we will look at here. By the 1260s the Mongol Empire broke into four independent Khanites, like the Golden Horde in modern Russia and Kazakhstan. Mongols made up the ruling elite and army corps in the 13th century, but gradually mixed with the nomadic Turkic population in the steppe region of their territory. Some Mongolian customs survived Turkification, with rulers for example largely continuing to be descendants of Chinggis Khan. In the Golden Horde, the Khans were descendants of Chinggis's eldest son Juchi, and his own many, many children. In the 1300s, civil war and conflict for the throne weakened the Golden Horde, and at the end of the century, the great warlord Timur invaded the Horde, having been betrayed by his protege Toktamish. The Toktamish Timur War was a catalyst to the fragmentation of the Horde, and an opportunity for greater Russian independence. Control of the Golden Horde was increasingly decided by who could take power by force, and in the 1420s, Barak, a descendant of Juchi's son Tokatimur, took the Khanite, based in the White Horde. Barak was Khan until his death around 1427, but his sons Janibeg and Karai, the future founders of the Kazakh Khanite, did not succeed him. In the Khanite of Siber, a descendant of Juchi's son Shiban, named Abul Khayr, took control of the region. From the 1420s until 1468, Abul Khayr was a dominating power, his realm becoming known as the Uzbek Khanite. The exact origin of the name Uzbek is unclear, possibly coming from the powerful Uzbek Khan, who ruled the Golden Horde from 1313 to 1341. It is from this conglomeration that the Uzbek people would emerge. To minimize threats to his position, Abul Khayr attacked other descendants of Juchi in his domains. In the 1450s, Janabeg and Garay fled from Uzbek territory to Mogulistan, controlled by the fragmenting Jagatai Khanite. In the 15th century, the word Kazakh was used to describe people and individuals who were wanderers or brigands, although the exact definition does not translate well into English. In Europe, this term became associated with the Cossacks of Russia and Ukraine, and became used to describe Janabeg and Karai and their Kazakh Khanite. Janabeg and Karai spent years on the run, occasionally raiding eastern Uzbek territory, until fate gave them an opportunity. In the 1460s, the Oirats, a confederation which had taken power in western Mongolia, invaded Uzbek territory. Abul Khayr's Khanite was unstabilized, and in this vacuum Yanabek and Garai moved west with their people. In 1468, either against the Oirats or against Yanabek and Garai, Abul Khayr was killed, with his son shortly afterwards. With the Uzbek Khanite in chaos, Yanabek and Garai seized the eastern Kipchak steppe. Abul Khayr's grandson Muhammad Shaybani took control south of the Sirdarya River beginning the Shaybanid dynasty but abandoning the north to Janabeg and Garai. Under the control of Janabeg's son Kizim Khan, the Kazakh Khanite would truly emerge. During his reign the Khanite grew considerably, ruling over one million people and becoming a regional powerhouse. At this point the Kazakhs were a political distinction from the Uzbeks, rather than a true separate people. But an independent Kazakh identity began to emerge during the reign of Kazim. War with the Uzbeks continued until 1500, after which the Uzbeks focused their attention south on the collapsing Timurid domains. With this period of respite, Kazakh holdings were consolidated, and after Kazim's death in 1523, the Khanate would grow to cover most of modern Kazakhstan, spreading and creating a distinct Kazakh language and people. Good times for the Kazakhs, however, did not last. Sometime in the 15th century, the three Kazakh hordes emerged, the Great, Middle and Small Hordes. Originally military and geographic divisions, the Khans of these hordes became increasingly independent, weakening the internal unity of the Kazakhs. From the east, the campaigns of the Oirat confederations would displace the Kazakhs as they took control of the eastern Kazakh pastures. The Kazakh Khans would look to help from the expanding Russian Empire, but the Russians would gradually incorporate the Kazakh hordes over the 
18th and 19th centuries. The details of the collapse of the Kazakh Khanate, however, will require another video.